across the world. Let's bring in right now longtime foreign reporter John Pomfret. He's the author of the new book, From Warsaw with Love, Polish Spies, the CIA, and the Forging of an Unlikely Alliance. John, thank you so much for being with us. What an absolutely fascinating book, a fascinating story. You have a Polish government uh, who had not elected a democratic government since the 1930s. Suddenly, they're being asked uh, to, to help the United States uh, in a, a, a really harrowing mission in Iraq. Tell us about it. So this was in 1990 when we had six American intelligence officers stuck in Baghdad. And we looked around for many countries to help us out. And the Poles basically volunteered. And the CIA from the 70s and 80s, from the Cold War, when they battled against Poland, knew that the Polish spies were actually really good. So they tasked this kind of quintessentially Eastern European officer, six foot five, pencil thin mustache, piercing blue eyes, a fellow named Gromosław Czempinski, to go to Iraq to save these Americans, to exfiltrate them out of Iraq to safety. And, and he, he, of course, had been working against the United States uh, for uh, his, most of his, his life uh, as a Cold War spy, obviously, on the Soviet side. Exactly. So suddenly, uh, with the CIA's outreach to the Polish intelligence with the fall of the Berlin Wall, he finds himself working on the other side of the Cold War and helping the United States. And that operation creates this blood bond between the two services, and Poles begin, Polish uh, operatives begin working for the United States around the world. One thing that uh, a reader of your book will find is something that uh, is very interesting that, that we may not know uh, just by reading the newspaper. And it reminds me during the middle of the Gulf War, uh, the, uh, well, the Iraq War, uh, the second Iraq War, when I was being harshly critical of the French. Uh, who were pushing back so hard and working against us in the United Nations, I had an intel friend uh, call me up and go, hey, Joe, be quiet. Uh, the French are our allies on so many fronts. Some of the best intel agents in the world, uh, they're our allies. And I said, good to know. I'll file that one away. But the same can be said of, of polls. Uh, e extraordinarily effective. Uh, in, in, in spying and, and, and their intel community. Great allies to have. Exactly. That's a great point, Joe. Uh, the, and it's, it's interesting. In, in 2001, CIA Director George Tenet called the relationship, the intelligence relationship we had with Poland, the second best intelligence relationship the United States has had in its history. So it's been under the radar. I mean, really, who knew? But the Poles have been operating on our behalf for decades. Hey, John, uh, this is obviously not your first rodeo in investigating things like this. And our relationship, our intelligence relationship with Poland developed to the point where black sites were located in Poland and uh, members of Al Qaeda were shipped in for interrogation. That's in quotes. Uh, what's the relationship as it continues? What is the relationship between the intelligence community in Poland and the United States today? Stronger, better, looser? So. Part of the problem is the Poles felt really burned by the whole black sites issue. They claimed that they had no idea what was going on in this interrogation site. They weren't even allowed into the site when the interrogations, as you call them, happened. Uh, and the other problem is that they assumed that the CIA wouldn't leak on it. And then when the CIA leaked on it, they were sort of left holding the bag. That said, after the sites were shut, they continued to spy on our behalf, specifically in places like Iran, where we didn't have access to. Now, the relationship has cooled over time simply because now countries around the world have identified Poland as a really staunch ally of America. So they watch out for them just like they would any American ally. So it's natural that the relationship is cooled, but it still goes on and joint operations continue. And, and a great line in the book uh, from an old Polish uh, hand. Uh, talk, uh, talk about, uh, for us, uh, why the Poles think uh, being a close ally with America is like being married to a hippo. <laughs> the hippo story. Well, you know, as he said, in the beginning, being married to a hippo hippopotamus, it's kind of warm and cuddly. But then the hippo turns and crushes you and, and doesn't even notice. <laughs> okay. The new book is From Warsaw with Love, Polish Spies, the CIA and the forging of an unlikely alliance, an extraordinary story. Get the book. You'll love it.
John Pomfret, thank you so much for being with us. Greatly appreciate it. And that does it for us this morning. Stephanie Rule picks up the coverage right after a final quick break.